Madam President, I rise today to honor the selfless and dedicated life of Thomas S. Monson, 16th President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. After nearly seven decades of church leadership and service, President Monson passed away on Tuesday evening. Millions of members of the LDS Church around the globe mourn his passage as we celebrate his life. There is much that can be said about what President Monson taught us from the pulpit. There is much more to be learned about what he did when he wasn't speaking, the sick that he visited, the weary he sustained, the jobless he aided, and the homeless he sheltered. A reoccurring theme throughout his life and his ministry was the rescue. He spoke movingly of a painting he had seen in a gallery in England that featured, as he described it, heavy-laden black clouds and the fury of a turbulent sea portending danger and death, a light from a stranded vessel gleaming far off. In the foreground, tossed high by incoming waves of foaming water, a large lifeboat, men pulling mightily on the oars, plunging into the tempest. On the shore stands a wife with two children, wet with rain and whipped by wind, they gaze anxiously seaward. In my mind, President Monson said, I abbreviated the name of the painting. To me, it became To the Rescue. Throughout his life, President Monson went to the rescue of those in need. He possessed a genuine love for those who were sad, downtrodden, and less fortunate. He was quoted as saying, I firmly believe that the sweetest experience in mortality is to know that our Heavenly Father has worked through us to accomplish an objective in, life, in the life of another person. This he took to heart. In the early years of church service, President Monson presided over a congregation with 85 widows. Though he was their appointed church leader for just a few short years, the love he felt for those widows was evident. He continued to visit each widow throughout her remaining life and was present at the funeral for each of his dear friends. He encouraged all of us to, quote, extend the hand that helps and the heart that knows compassion. My colleagues here would be interested to know that President Monson often quoted Abraham Lincoln, saying, if you would win a man to your cause, first convince him that you are his sincere friend. President Monson's example of service and rescue was recognized by many world leaders. In an effort to promote America's spirit of generosity, President Ronald Reagan appointed him to his task force on private center initi initiatives. President Monson met with religious leaders of all faiths to talk about the welfare program of the church, which has been recognized as being highly successful in its scope and in its mission. In closing, President Monson's daughter, Ann Monson Dibb, observed how her father embodied the scripture in James that reads, Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Madam President, there is no better description of the life and legacy of Thomas S. Monson. May we do the same by rushing to the rescue of those in need. I yield the floor.